In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set your Excel's default theme color to be the theme color that you want. By default, every time you open Excel, it always reverts to the office theme color. In your company, you might already have defined theme colors that you can browse for and bring in as your custom themes, right? So if you always want to use your own custom themes, you will always have to come here and then click on this so that it switches the theme color. But let's say you want to avoid this because 90% of the time you want to use your own theme color and not the office theme color. So every time you create a new workbook, you want it to take this. Now, unfortunately, Excel doesn't have any option here that says set as default theme color. Unlike, for example, Word. So if I switch to Word, you can see under design, you can select the theme that you want and you have this tick mark set as default. We don't get that in Excel. To do that, you need to save an empty Excel spreadsheet with this theme as an Excel template inside your Excel start folder. How do we do that? Well, first off, you will define a theme. A theme is basically the combination of this, this, and this. That's what makes a theme. And the reason this is important is especially for your charts. Why? Because, let me just highlight this and insert just any chart. Okay, that's the color set that comes in. And where are these colors coming from? Well, let's take a look at this. If I go to customize color, it's coming from accent one, accent two, accent three. So the first series that is in your chart is accent one. The second series is accent two and so on. So defining this saves you the time of always going back and changing your series colors. And by default, the office colors are these, and that's not the colors that you always want to use. Once you define your theme colors, you can do it by customized color so we can quickly do one. Let's do accent one is black, accent two is dark gray, accent three is orange. So I'm going to set my own colors. I'll call it LG default one and save. It's right here. You can also change the fonts and define your own fonts. And once you're happy with this set, then you can save it as a theme. So come here and say, save current theme. And I'm going to call it theme LG default. Okay, office theme, it's fine. It's saved by default under document themes in my templates folder. So I'm just going to save that. You open a blank workbook, then you go to themes and you select the color that you want. So that's the only change that you make to this workbook. It's all blank and I'm going to go to file and save as template. You can save it directly under your Excel start folder, but it might sometimes be difficult to find it from here. If you're lucky, you just have to go a few steps back and you see that. But if not, you actually have to locate that folder. What I do is that I'm just going to save it on my desktop and then search for that folder in Explorer. The other important thing is that you delete that number. I'm just going to press save. I can close this. Let's just close all my Excel. I'm not going to save that. I'm going to go to Explorer. And what you can do is find your Excel start folder by searching for it here. I guess I've already done that. It took a couple of seconds or so and it found that folder and I came here. I just need to grab that book template. So I'm going to do control X and go here and paste it in. It's sitting in that folder. I'm just going to go open some Excel file. So let's go to open this one, something I had opened last. Check this out. I'm going to press Ctrl N and go to page layout and it's showing my theme color that I chose. Every time you press Ctrl N for new or 
If you already have it in your quick access toolbars, I have that one. If I press this, I go to page layout, I see my theme color. That's how you can create your own default Excel theme. Three important things is one, saving it in Excel start folder. Two is that you take away that number when you're saving it. So if it's book one, book two, you take away the number. And three is that you save it as an Excel template. And don't forget that it should be a blank Excel spreadsheet. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you save some time when you're creating new Excel reports.